beautiful people, it's your girl Yana, and I'm back today with yet another video. And let me tell you, things are about to get very interesting because we're gonna be taking a look at some of the scariest things caught on live television. So if you guys are ready, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. One morning, an episode of Judge Judy is being filmed. That's when, all of a sudden, the camera starts to shake. About what he needed. Okay. Well, he got your credit card, your bank card somehow, and he got your PIN number somehow. It takes everyone a moment to realize what's happening. A massive earthquake had interrupted filming. Large earthquakes do sometimes happen in Los Angeles, which is where Judge Judy is filmed. The entire set shakes, and you can see the fear on everyone's faces. Maybe God is not a fan of the Judge Judy show. You can absolutely tell that everyone is seriously concerned. Can you blame them? That earthquake looked pretty freaking intense. I experienced one very mild earthquake while I was in LA, and that alone was pretty scary. I cannot imagine experiencing one like this. May 17th, 1994. Five, a news helicopter was flying around San Diego, USA. What the helicopter was filming on the ground was one of San Diego's most terrifying moments. 35-year-old Sean Nelson had stolen a tank from a nearby National Guard armory. He decided to go on a rampage in San Diego, crushing cars and destroying buildings. this guy is pissed off about something. I'm just curious how he even managed to get his hands on a freaking military tank. It's borderline funny how ridiculous this is. This man went on a full-on rampage in a military tank. Like, what the actual hell is going on? Eventually, a massive police chase occurred, with hundreds of cop cars trying to stop the M60 tank. Sean's insane rampage lasted 23 minutes, and the entire thing was filmed live on TV news. Eventually, police were able to stop the tank, and Sean's life was ended by cops. But why did Nelson do it? Well, his parents passed away within four years of each other. Soon after, his wife divorced him. Later on, he ran out of money. His new girlfriend left him, and his house was in foreclosure. With no options left, Sean decided to go on one final joyride. He caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage, but the only person to pass away would be Sean himself. Listen, this guy very clearly caused some seriously irreparable damage. However, thankfully, nobody got hurt except for him. I do, however, wonder why the police felt that they had no choice but to take him out. I mean, he was in a military tank, but still. In 2011, Japan was hit by its worst ever tsunami. But during the news coverage of this, viewers spotted something strange. As the tsunami takes place, a large black creature can be seen. It also seems to vanish and then reappear. Some believe this may be a phenomena known as Mothman. That is a large black creature which appears moments before disaster. Mothman was first seen on December 14th, 1967, flying above the Silver Bridge in Ohio. Scarily, the following day, the bridge collapsed. Ever since, Mothman has allegedly been observed before multiple disasters, including the Chernobyl meltdown in Ukraine. Could this really be Mothman caught on camera? The concept of a Mothman is seriously so so terrifying to me. Every time I think about it, I get super creeped out. However, I do not think that is Mothman in that clip. I think that's very clearly some sort of large bird that's probably just trying to get the hell out of there before disaster hits. On October 22nd, 2021, news channel WNYT was doing a report in Green Ridge Cemetery in New York. But after the broadcast, a viewer reached out after seeing something strange. Keep an eye on the area behind the Butler gravestone. What seems seems to be an apparition goes right behind the grave. And as you can see behind me here, we have a few gravestones, but what you can't see- The news channel had no idea this happened until a viewer pointed it out. The ghostly figure really does have a human shape and seems to be running very fast. Some say this proves ghosts and spirits are real, especially as this was filmed in what's said to be a haunted graveyard. That's pretty 
pretty freaking unexplainable. A haunted cemetery is definitely a very unique place for a news report. Something definitely runs across the frame in the background, and it does kind of have a human shape, which is really terrifying. At least this ghost got their five minutes of fame. One day, a reporter for MSNBC was doing some coverage of a storm in Mississippi, USA. Reporter Shaquille Brewster was talking about the tropical storm, but that's when he was interrupted by a very angry man. I think we even have a random person going around. You know, I'm going to turn this way because, you know, we deal with some people every once in a while. The man had spotted the news crew and pulled over in a truck. He then proceeded to shout at and berate the news crew. Shaquille tries to keep his cool. The man was shouting that they weren't covering the storm correctly. The man then grabbed Shaquille's microphone before they cut back to the studio. You can tell by the studio anchor's face that he's very scared about what might be happening. But thankfully, Shaquille and his crew were okay. The angry driver, Benjamin Eugene Dagley, was later arrested by police for what he did. It's a good thing everyone was okay, but it was still scary for viewers to watch this play out live. What the hell were you thinking, Benjamin? This man just saw a news reporter doing his job on the side of the road and decided to pull his truck over. He then proceeded to get out and try to rip his microphone away from him and get in his freaking face. I do not know why Benjamin is so confrontational, but very clearly something is stressing him out. He is very upset at the news station for the way they're reporting the storm. I don't really understand why he's taking the storm so personally, but either way, thankfully the news reporter was completely fine. I even saw him get a little pissed off at the end there. He was like, okay, enough of you getting in my face. It's just the most random thing ever. One day a Danish TV station is interviewing a man at an airport. It seems normal at first, but keep an eye on the blonde woman in the background. As the woman in front of her walks past, it seems like the blonde woman completely vanishes. Some say she may perfectly be in the camera's blind spot, while others said this woman disappeared. Could this be a real glitch in the matrix? Or is there another explanation for this bizarre live TV clip? My mind is literally blown. Did you guys not see that woman just completely disappear? My brain cannot process how that just happened. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's some sort of optical illusion, or like he said that she just happened to go into the camera's blind spot. It definitely does look like a glitch in the matrix though, that's for sure. One day Pope Francis was doing a regular broadcast from the Vatican. He then appeared at his window to bless the crowd, but bizarrely as he stepped back inside he seemed to vanish into thin air. He goes bye bye! Oh my God. This led to some saying it may simply be a hologram of the Pope. They may do this for security reasons. To make matters even more strange, the Vatican removed all copies of this video, only leaving up their version. Others said that these two clips were recorded on different days, and the man in the window was not actually Pope Francis. Whatever the reason, this is very bizarre. Hologram technology is surprisingly advanced now, so maybe this really was a hologram, either to prevent assassination attempts or for other reasons. You can clearly see him vanish into thin air. I feel like it has to be a hologram because there's no other choice. Unless the Pope can teleport, which I highly doubt. It's not like he fades away slowly. He just completely goes from there to not there. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys think this is some sort of hologram or did the Pope literally just teleport in front of our eyes? In 2019, Fox Phoenix weather reporter Matt Roadwald was doing a weather report on a massive thunderstorm. Storm. But that's when a gigantic lightning strike hits just feet away. Some online said it looks like the lightning strike is far away, but the main lightning strike was actually very close, causing Matt to run out of frame. Thankfully he was okay, but he only narrowly missed being hit by this lightning strike. The strike was so powerful it knocked out power nearby, leaving 14,000 homes without power. Matt was okay, but I'm sure he'll think twice next time he steps out during a lightning storm. Everyone always says that your chances of getting struck by lightning are pretty low, but I don't know, I've heard of a lot of occasions of people getting struck by lightning and it doesn't seem that rare to me. That thing hit pretty damn close to him. You would never see me anywhere near a storm ever again. I promise you that. In 2020, the channel Capital TV in Peru was doing a report. They were in front of an audience of 200 people on Yeya Beach, which is known to be a UFO hotspot. The hosts were doubtful they'd see anything, but 
in the middle of the broadcast, some audience members noticed a weird light in the sky. They pointed at it with their green laser pens. And that's when the small light appears to respond, flashing a very bright color. <laughs> Could this be a UFO trying to communicate with the laser pens? The light is stationary, meaning it's not a plane. It's also not making any noise, ruling out helicopters. As the light gets brighter, it seems to be the shape of a hexagon. Seeing as this is rather far away, it must be absolutely massive. After this was broadcast, some remained skeptical. But people who saw it insist it was a UFO. Whatever it is in the sky, it seems to be so far away, there's no way you can tell what it is. I personally would would not discount it being some sort of plane, which is why I think it's really concerning that they're shining lasers at it. Whatever it is, it's clearly somebody flying something and you can potentially blind them with your lasers. I guess it could potentially be a UFO, but again, there's literally no way of knowing. That thing was insanely high up in the sky. One day a viewer was watching the Canadian CTV channel, but that's when they noticed something off about one of the reporters. At various points, she appears to have double eyes. Have long been a cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doc. The reporter has dark eyes, but as she blinks, a second set of lighter eyes appears over her eyelids. People offered various explanations. Some said this may be a lizard person, while other more rational people said this was likely a camera glitch. If this is a camera glitch, it's weird how the rest of the video seems totally normal. Do you believe people with double eyes exist in real life? After all, some say that sometimes the camera captures what the eyes can't see. I would say logically it's most likely a camera glitch. When she blinks, it literally looks like she has double eyes. And it's low-key demonic as hell. It's definitely interesting to me how only her eyes glitch and no other part of the video glitches. How does something like that happen? I don't know, it's definitely a bit scary. One day, two news anchors in Honduras were doing a report, but they were freaked out when one of their glasses appeared to move by itself. <laughs> They were clearly confused, but tried to move on. That was until it happened again. The journalist Carlos Molina later admitted he felt a chill go down his spine seconds before the glass moved. He also said the table wasn't uneven, and also denied it being a prank played on him by the production staff. Could this be something supernatural? I'm not saying their studio is haunted, but I wouldn't want to go there at night. <laughs> Action is a lot calmer than mine would be because let me tell you I would freak the hell out seeing that that glass very clearly moved on its own So unless they faked this or this is some sort of prank that they don't know about I think it's pretty safe to say their studio is haunted. It might be time to switch locations Many people believe that the legendary musician Michael Jackson is still alive and well One piece of evidence for this is the mysterious identity of this man. His name is Teddy Perkins He is a character on the show at Atlanta inspired by Michael Jackson. On the show, he's played by actor Donald Glover, but people were very creeped out when they realized he was at the 2018 Emmys. You may assume this is simply Donald Glover in character, but mysteriously, the Teddy Perkins at the Emmys was not Donald Glover, nor was it his brother Stephen or their co-star Lakeith Stanfield. The director of Atlanta refused to reveal who this was, leading some to believe that this Teddy Perkins was Michael Michael Jackson in disguise, and that he used the show to tell his story. People have also pointed out this clip, where the man cryptically says, someone did kill me, but I'm still alive. Could this really be Michael Jackson sending us a message? And if it's not, then who is this mysterious man? First, I wasn't really convinced, but then when I heard his voice, I literally got chills. Cause oh my God, he sounds like Michael Jackson. It does look like whoever this is, is wearing a bunch of latex and like sort of costume makeup to give them this look. And let me just say that is one creepy looking character. I definitely have heard theories of Michael Jackson still being alive. And although there are some pretty 
solid theories out there. I do not think this is one of them. I do think it's most likely someone in costume that just happens to resemble Michael Jackson. But all right, you guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. Definitely let me know in the comments which live television moment was the scariest for you. In my opinion, that near lightning strike definitely takes the cake. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.